Good afternoon, everyone. We cordially welcome you all to what the environment, a quest on environment, biodiversity, and its conservation. This event is being conducted by Genesis, the Life Sciences Society of Ramjus, as a part of our annual fest 2022. The quest will start in 10 minutes. And before that, I would like to run you through a few basics, like how we are going to go about conducting the quest, the rules of the quest, and the platform on which the quest would be conducted. First up, the method, as in how we are going to go about conducting the quest. The quest is going to be conducted in three rounds. The first round would be qualifiers, the second round would be semifinals, and the last round would be the finals. For the qualifying round, we have like 36 participants in total, and the 36 participants would be divided into six groups of six each. And the division of groups have already been uh, informed before. So let's quickly jump into the next slide to understand on what basis you people would qualify to the semifinals. The qualifiers would be conducted separately for each group. Uh, that means a quiz would happen for the for a separate quiz would happen for groups one, two, three, four, five, and six, and the quizzes would happen one after the other in the in the order of their groups. Each group would have separate questions, and the top two participants from each group would move on to the semifinals. The remaining participants would be eliminated. And I would like to like pause here to ask a quick, quick question to all of you, just to warm you up. The question is, if we select two participants from each group, how many participants would get to move on to the finals? Okay, Himanshu says eight. Maybe Himanshu, you should try again. We had six groups. Ah, yes, Varnit, uh, your an answer is absolutely correct. Varnit has been uh, clearly listening to the rules of the quiz. Yes, we have six groups from which two would be selected. And so uh, 12 of you would move on to the semifinals. Yeah, yeah, Amen, Priyanka. Yeah, I see your answers. Um, and for the semifinals, the rules are similar to that of the qualifiers. Only difference is in the number of groups. Uh, this time, the 12 of you would be divided into two groups of six each, and the top three participants from each group would move on to the finals. So in the uh, finals, we have six participants. And things uh, start getting a little more serious nearing to the end. Uh, for the finals, we have a totally different set of rules. No more division into groups. Every participant in the finals would be exposed to the same set of questions. And the first person to answer the question gets a point, and others get zero points. And but, but if the first person answers it incorrectly, he would be awarded negative points. Mark my words, negative points. And the next person gets to answer the question. And we would also reveal a, a few more rules right before the finals. Now that we have understood how the how all three rounds would be conducted, let us discuss the platform on which the quiz would and the finals would happen on Google Meet. Most of you uh, would now be panicking over what Kahoot is. Worry not, Kahoot is really easy and also fun to use. I'll explain everything in detail here for those of you who are not familiar with Kahoot. And you wouldn't have to download an external app for it. All you have to do is click on the link that we will provide at from the beginning of each round in your WhatsApp groups, and you will, you will know what to do. After you click on the link, uh, you will be redirected to this page and you would be asked to enter the game pin. The game pin would be shared to your respective WhatsApp groups again. After you enter the game pin, you would be asked to enter your name. Please enter your proper name, the name you used to register for this event and not a nickname. After every one of you has entered your name and joined the quiz, your, your round would start and this is how your questions will be displayed. You, uh, you can see the question, the option, the timer, and the score on your screen. After the timer ends for a particular question, the question statistics will be displayed on the screen of the host. And if you uh, if you want to know what, what the correct answer was, or if you want to know how many of your opponents have answered it correctly, you can switch back to the meet to see the screen of the host. After every question, a leaderboard would be displayed on the meeting. And, and by now, you people would have understood that it is better not to leave the meeting while you do your quest because the leaderboard would be displayed here on the meet. And if but if you are facing any severe network issue or if you don't like seeing the scores, you can uh, leave the meet and come back at the end of each round. 
After the first round ends, the name of top three participants would be displayed on the screen. And for the qualifiers, only two uh, from each group would get selected. And But for the semifinals, all top three participants would get selected. And the semifinals would be conducted in the exact same manner. But the finals would happen here on Google Meet face-to-face. -face. Few rules for the quiz. Do not uh, leave the meeting uh, because the host would display the scoreboard and the winners on the screen. Secondly, you won't have to switch on your cameras for the first two rounds, but it is compulsory for the finals. Thirdly, the person who answers the correct answer fastest gets more points. That means Googling won't help. And because, uh, because a person who already knows the answer would answer it right away compared to a person who has to Google for it. Fourthly, spectators are advised not to, say, not to type or say the answers. And uh, last rule, this is kind of an important one. No one except the members of each group are supposed to enter the Kahoot pin and join the quiz, which is not assigned to them. If at all someone tries to do this, they would be immediately reported and removed from this event. Now, with a few more pointers, I would conclude this presentation. Firstly, the participants of a different group are allowed to watch all the quizzes of all the other groups. Even if you get eliminated, you, can, you, can, uh, you are free to stay back and watch all the rounds, including the finals. Secondly, believe me, this is going to be a lot of fun. The questions, the timers, the scoreboard varying drastically after every question and the announcement of all three winners after every round, you wouldn't even be bored for a single second. Well, uh, that was the end of this presentation and hope you all are clear about the rules of the quiz. If you are not, now would be the time to clarify and we will start our qualifiers, in, uh, qualifiers at 4.20. Do you people have any doubts? Did you uh, clearly understand all the rules? I would take the silence for an answer. Uh, we would assume that everybody understood the rules. No more complaints after. And we will start a qualifiers in one minute. Before starting the qualifiers, uh, quickly, uh, I'll run you through the rules of the qualifiers once again. We will have five questions. Each question would have a 20 second time limit and top two participants would get to move on to the semifinals. And I now welcome my co-host, Sartak, to conduct the qualifiers of all six groups. Sartak, over to you. Thank you so much, Anfas. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I am Sartak and I will be your host for the qualifiers today. I'll be posting the links for the first group very shortly in their WhatsApp groups. So I request all the participants to join immediately. I've shared the link on the WhatsApp group. Uh, I request all the participants from group one to join in immediately so that we can proceed on with the quiz. I'm currently waiting for the players in the lobby. I would request everyone to join as soon as possible. So we have Anshika in the lobby. Okay, Himanshu has also joined. Hurry up guys, we have to proceed. Excuse me, Sardak. Meanwhile, I will just announce the names of the people who belong to group one. They are Ansh Rajkumar, followed by Anshita, followed by Jay Sharma, followed by Vanshita, then Himanshu, and followed by Kashik, Kashish, sorry. That would be the members for group one. Please, uh, please join uh, the Kahoot from the link shared to your WhatsApp group. Thank you, Sardar. Okay, so Jay Sharma has also joined. We need three more participants. Come on guys, we're waiting for them, for you all to join. Start that only wait for two participants. Only wait for two more minutes, then start. Someone okay, okay. Might... Thank you. 
अलग एक शेयर हो गया है not for all the groups only for group 1 the qualifiers for group 1 would have to okay okay is great yes thank you should i start or should i wait for a more one minute one minute i'm okay okay i'll send the watch up have only three people in the lobby that's it unfortunately there are two people whose name was not added i'll just ask them to join one minute okay okay I think you can start when five of them join. I have shared the link to two people. Okay, I'll wait for two more people to join then. Jay Sharma, I would like you to rejoin the lobby, please. So we have Ansh in the lobby. Jay, I would like you to rejoin. Brother, Ram ka naam to nahi tha, kyunki main thoda disconnect ho gaya tha thoda. No, no, you are not in the first group. Sir, that have five of them joined. No, we have only four. Jay left the lobby. Read out their names. Uh, we have Ansh, we have Samika, we have Himanshu, and we have Anshika. Jay joined earlier, but now he's not in the lobby. Add one minute. One minute. Okay. Okay. done okay so now we'll be starting since jay has joined uh, i'll be sharing my screen with you all so that uh, the people who are not participating can also see So I'll be starting the quiz now. Uh, I hope you all are ready. So group number one, here we go. Your first question will be visible in just a second. Here it is. In a recent study, metabolic activities of which animal was shown to be affected by ocean warming? Option A, sea turtle. Option B, sharks. Option C, seals. And option D, whales. We only have one answer and 10 seconds to go. I would like you all to answer as quickly as possible. 
because the one who answers first gets the highest points so only two answers we have three now just a second and time sir so one person answered it correctly and the correct answer was option b sharks we'll now move on to the leaderboards and see who answered it correctly okay so we have himanshu who answered it correctly uh, and he is now on 919 points to all the others who could not open their accounts i would like to wish you the best for the next questions uh, and i would now move on to the next question excuse me sir could you please turn on the audio for from the next question not from this okay so which of these units is used for the measurement of ozone layer thickness option a doxin units option b simson units option c decibels and option d ozonites we have three answers and 4 seconds to go quickly we need more answers okay so all three people answered it correctly and the correct answer was option a dobson units i'll now, now move on to the leaderboards and see what it says so himanshu is still on top with 1846 points anshika and samika also opened their accounts and they are on 955 and 777 points respectively I'll move on to the next question and see if there is any change in this leaderboard. Okay, so here's the third question. Identify this critically endangered bird which is native to India. Option A, the great Nicobar crake. Option B, the great Indian bustard. Option D, slaty-breasted rail. And option E, the great egret. We only have three answers. Okay, so all four people answered correctly, and the correct answer was option B, great Indian bustard. we we'll now see the correct now we'll see the leaderboards okay himanshu has a correct answer streak of 3 and he is now still on top with 2708 points anshika is on 1733 points maintaining her second position samika and jay are also doing good uh, we'll move on to the penultimate question for this round so here it is which of the following is or are a primary pollutant option a ground level ozone option b oxides of sulfur option c volatile organic compounds and option d both the second and third option we only have two answers now three answers okay quickly guys this is a penultimate question it can have a lot of impact on the leaderboard so three people answered it correctly and the correct answer was option d both the second and third option Himanshu is just on fire now. He has answered all the four questions correctly and has thirty five hundred and ninety five points. Anshika is still on the second position with twenty four hundred and forty five points. I'll move on to the last question of this round and we'll then get to see the final rankings. So here it is: the use of metabolism of microorganisms to remove pollutants such as oil spills from the water bodies is known as. option a biometabolization option b biomagnification option c bioremediation and option d eutrophication okay so three people have answered it correctly and the correct answer was option c bioremediation now we'll see the final rankings for this round okay so on the third position with 2938 points we have samika on the second position with 3233 38 points we have anshika and on the first position answering all the five questions correctly we have himanshu i would like to congratulate all the winners and i would now like to pass on the mic to anfas um thank you sarthak well congratulations uh, samika anshika and himanshu the top two participants are moving on to the semi finals unfortunately everyone else would be eliminated but you people can still stay back and see the other rounds and including finals semi finals and other qualifiers and now we'll move on to the second group for qualifiers and the people in the second group are ajmal mp chirag jinya nitya swaroop es and vasundhara thakur uh, you people uh, the link would be shared to your whatsapp group in a while you people are requested to join as soon as possible and sath ko uh, to start the qualifiers sath ko to you thank you so much i'll be posting the links in a very short while there seems to be some technical issue just give me a second to resolve it
Meanwhile, I will call out the names of the people who are going in for the next qualifiers. That would be group number three, Anshu Kumari, Gungun Maheshwari, Gungun Mishra, Jinya, Jude, and Varnit. You people be ready. I've posted the link in the WhatsApp group. I would like to request all the participants to join as quickly as possible. I'm waiting for the players in the lobby. Currently we have no one. Hurry up guys. Okay, so we have Jinya in the lobby now. I would like to request all the participants to join as quickly as possible. So Nitya has also joined. Okay, there's four more participants to go. So Chirag has also joined. We have three people in the lobby now. Hurry up guys, we still have only three people in the lobby. Pratik, wait for one more minute and we'll continue. Okay. So can you uh, call out the names of the people in the lobby right now? Okay, just give me a, uh, the people in the lobby. Yes. We have Chirag, Nitya and Jinya in the lobby currently and uh, yet to join our, wait, uh, let me just check. Yet Ajmal, to join Ajmal, our Ajmal, Farooq yeah, and Asumbra. Those people are not in the meeting, you may now start. Your okay, so we'll start now. I'll be sharing my screen with you all. So group two, we'll have your first question in just one more second. So here it is for you. Which of the following national parks is unique in being a swamp with floating vegetation supporting rich biodiversity? Option A, Bhitar Kanika National Park. Option B, Kibul Lamjao National Park. Option C, Kiraladi Udhana National Park. And option D, Sultanpur National Park. Till now we have no answers. Hurry up guys, we only have five more seconds to go. Just quickly answer. Okay, so we have one answer. Uh, the time swap, guys. The one person who answered, answered it correctly. And the correct answer was option B. And just for your knowledge, Kibul Lamjao is also the world's only floating national park. So Nitya has answered it correctly and is now on top with 632 points. We'll be moving on to the next question and hopefully Jirnia and Chirag can also open their accounts then. So here's the second question. Which of the following is the world's largest emitter of carbon dioxide? Option A, China. Option B, the USA. Option C, India. And option D, Italy. Hurry up, we do not have any answers yet. Okay, so we've got one answer, two answers, and five more seconds to go. Quickly, guys, quickly, hurry up. We only have two more seconds, one second, and the time's up. Okay, so both the people answered it correctly, and the correct answer was option A, China. We'll now move on to see the leaderboards. 
Nitya is still on top with 1385 points, followed by Jinya, who opened her account and is now on 722 points. Chirag is yet to do anything, but I wish him the best for the next questions. I'll now move on to the next question. Hope you all are ready. So this is the third question. 90% of the world's rhino population is found in which country? Option A, Namibia. Option B, Ghana. Option C, South Africa. And option D, Zimbabwe. We already have two answers. Looks like your fingers are moving quickly, but we still do not have one person to go. Five, okay. So none of them could answer it correctly. The correct answer was option C, South Africa. Okay, the leaderboard is still the same as no one answered it correctly. We'll move on to the penultimate question for this round and let's see what the leaderboard says then. So this is the fourth question. Tequila fish, Zogoneticus tequila, which was declared extinct, has been reintroduced to which country? Option A, Mexico. Option B, Chile. Option C, Argentina. And option D, Bolivia. We only have one answer. Two more to go. Hurry up, we only have seven more seconds. Okay, we have two answers now. One more. Okay, three people answered it, but only one of them answered it correctly. The correct answer was option A, Mexico. Now let us see who answered it correctly. So it was Jinya who answered it correctly and she now follows closely behind Nitya on 1,358 points. The last question is going to be a, a very exciting one as the leaderboard is quite packed. Okay, so this is the last question for this group. Which is the world's simplest molecule and a potential source of clean energy? Option A, methane. Option B, helium. Option C, lithium. And option D, hydrogen. Well, this is quite an easy question. Okay, so all three of them have answered it correctly. The correct answer was option D, hydrogen. Now let us see what the leaderboard says and the final rankings are. On the third position, with 931 points, we have Chirag. On the second position, with 2,222 points, we have Nitya. And on the first position, with 2,294 points, we have Jinya. I would like to congratulate all the winners, and now I would like to pass the mic on to Anfas. Thank you, Satak, for conducting the qualifiers for Group 2. And congratulations, all three winners. And the top two people, that is uh, Jinya and Nitya, are moving on to the semifinals. Your people would be added to your WhatsApp groups in a while. And meanwhile, I'll read out the names of the people who belong to group three. They are Anju Kumari, Gungun Maheshwari, Gungun Sharp, Gungun Mishra, Jia, Jude, and Varnith. You people are, are requested to join the lobby. Thank you. The links for the third group has, have been posted in the WhatsApp. Uh, I would like request to all the participants to join as quickly as possible. I'm waiting for the players in the lobby right now and no one has joined yet. Okay. Join in quickly guys. We still do not have anyone in the lobby. Okay. Gunun has joined. Varnath has also joined. Four more players to go. Okay, Kush has joined. Sartak, I think there are two Gunguns in this group. Yes, yes, there are two Gunguns and uh, Kush, I would like to request you to join with your real name and not with the nickname so that there is no miscrepancy. Also, have the uh, Gungun and Gungun have they given their uh, certain? Yes, uh, both the Gungun should like type the full names, you know. Uh, Kush, I would like to request you to use your real name. Okay, Kashish is here. We have Gungun Maheshwari. We have Varnit, Gungun Maheshwari and Kashish in the lobby. Gungun Mishra has also joined. Waiting for two more players to join.
still waiting we have four players in the lobby should i start or will anyone else be joining sadak i think you can start we don't have okay much time. okay i'll now be presenting my screen so group 3 these are your questions we'll start in just a second so this is your first question the main objective of the montreal protocol was option a protecting the ozone layer option b preventing global warming option c reducing the greenhouse gases and option d both the b and c options okay only one person has answered it correctly the correct answer was option a protecting the ozone layer we'll move on to the leaderboard to see who answered the question correctly okay so varnath is now on top and he answered it quite quickly because he has scored 934 points all the others could not open their accounts but i wish them the best for the next questions and we also uh, have uh, like, wait for a minute yeah wait wait a minute you ask in the meet which gungun which they are and remove one okay so we have gungun mishra gungun maheshwari and we also have just a gungun uh excuse me is gungun mishra did you join from your real name gungun mishra yes i have joined from my real name gungun mishra can okay, you have you uh, joined from your real name gungun maheshwar yes sir um remove remove the first one okay and uh, uh, yeah. i'll also remove kash because kash has joined i believe yeah okay also we request people to not to do it again and we might uh, uh, remove you from this meeting itself uh, sath the continue okay i'll now move on to the next question so here's the second question for you world wildlife day is celebrated on option a june 25th option b july 12th option c march 3rd and option d february 5th okay so two people have answered it correctly the correct answer was option c march 3rd Let's see the leaderboards. Varnath is still on top with eighteen hundred and seventy-five points. Gungun Maheshwari has opened her account with eight hundred and ninety-seven points. Unfortunately, Gungun Mishra and Kashish could not do anything in this round. But I wish them the best for the next question. I'll move on to the next question now. So this is the third question. The expert committee report: Drowning a valley, destroying a civilization, is related to which dam project? Option A, Sardar Sarovar Dam. Option B, Hirakud Dam. Option C, Nagarjun Sagar Dam. And option D, Bhakra Nangal Dam. We have ten seconds to go, and only two answers. Quickly, hurry up, guys. Okay, so three people have answered it correctly. The correct answer was option A, Sardar Sarovar Dam. Let's see the leaderboards now. So Varnath is on fire. He has an answer streak of three, and he is on top with twenty-seven hundred and eighty-six points, followed by Gungun Maheshwari. On sixteen hundred and five points, Gunman Mishra has also opened her account and is on the third position with nine hundred and sixteen points. I'll now move on to the penultimate question for this round. Here it is: Which of the following is not a classification in the IUCN list of threatened species? Option A: Extinct. Option B: Harmless. Option C: Vulnerable. And option D: Threatened. This is a very easy question, and three people have answered it correctly. The correct answer was option B, harmless. Let's see the leaderboards now. Varnit is still on top with thirty six hundred and seventy five points, and the leaderboard remains unchanged for this question. We'll move on to the final question for this round, guys. And uh, I believe Varnit would like to take the first position. So here it is. Which of the following is not a component of photochemical smog? Option A sunlight option B volatile organic compounds option C carbon monoxide and option D oxides of nitrogen We have only 3 answers okay 5 seconds to go two people answered it correctly the correct answer was option C carbon monoxide I'll now move on to the final rankings for this group Okay on the third position we have Gungun Maheshwari with 2436 points on the second position we have Gungun Mishra with 2623 points and on the first position we have Varnath with 4566 points and he answered all the five questions correctly 
I would like to congratulate all the winners, and I would now like to pass on the mic to one first. Congratulations to all the winners. Congratulations, Gun Gun Mishra and Vanit. You people are moving on to the semi-finals. You will be adding it to your WhatsApp groups shortly. Meanwhile, uh, I will read out the names of people who are going to be attending the next quiz. Aman Madan, Deepak Sharma, Nista Nista Jain, Ram Sharan, followed by Pooja. Uh, we'll send you the link links in a while. I've posted the links for the fourth group. I would like to request all the participants to join as quickly as possible. Okay, Nishtha has joined. Aman has also joined. We have two people in the lobby now. Okay, Ram Saran has joined. We have three people in the lobby right now. Will anyone else be joining? Should I wait for one more minute? Sathak, how many have joined? Uh, we have three people in the lobby right now. Has Aman Madan joined? Uh, yes, Aman has joined. We have uh, Ram Saran and Nishtha as well. I think that would be it. I think that would be it. Others left. Okay, so I'll be starting the quiz. Okay, so group four, your first question will be visible right now. So here it is. When is the World Environment Day celebrated? Option A, March 25th. Option B, June 5th. Okay, all three people have answered it correctly and quite quickly as well. The correct answer was option B, June 5th. We'll now see the leaderboards to see who answered it first. Aman Madan is now on top with 951 points, followed very closely behind by Ram Saran on 944 points. Nishtha is also very close behind with 925 points. So we have a very tough competition for this round, I believe. I'll now move on to the second question. Where among these places will you find the greatest biodiversity? Option A, Nile Delta, Egypt. Option B, Borneo Rainforest. Option C, Amazon Rainforest. Okay, all three people have answered it correctly. Once again, the correct answer was Option C, Amazon Rainforest. We'll see the leaderboards now. So there's a change. Nishtha is on top with 1,884 points, but Aman and Ramsaran are also very close with 1,847 and 1,823 points. Just for fun, Amazon Rainforest holds one third of the world's biodiversity. So Palamo Tiger Reserve is in which state? Option A, Jharkhand. Option B, Tamil Nadu. Option C, Arunachal Pradesh. And option D, West Bengal. We have two answers. Okay, three people have answered and two have answered it correctly. The correct answer was option A, Jharkhand. Now we'll see the leaderboards. Aman is on top with 2,742 points and Nishtha is on second with 2,681 points. Aman also has a correct answer streak of three. We'll move on to the second last question for this round now. Which among these groups faces the greatest threat of extinction? Option A, amphibians. Option B, corals. Option C, mammals. And option D, reptiles. We have two answers already. 10 more seconds to go. 
So two people have answered it correctly. The correct answer was option A, amphibians. Now we'll see the leaderboards. Aman is still on top with 3,521 points, but the second and third position are a very close competition with 2,723 and 2,681 points respectively. We'll move on to the final question for this round, which has been a very competitive one. Which among the following is an active predator of the crown of thorn starfish? Option A, Wells catfish. Option B, great white shark. Option C, triton's trumpet. And option D, brittle sun star. This is a tough question. So we only have two answers now. Hurry up, time is passing. Okay, two people have answered it correctly. The correct answer was option C, Triton's trumpet. Let us now see the final rankings for this round. So on the third position, we have Ram Saran with 2723 points. On the second position, we have Nishtha with 3340 points. And on the first position with 4272 points, we have Aman who answered all the five questions correctly and played fabulously. I would like to congratulate all the winners and I would like to ask Anfas to take over now. Congratulations, Nishta and Aman. You people are moving on to the semifinals. Like Satak said, this was the most competitive qualifier so far. We hope you people do good in the semifinals also. Now, I would like to call out the names of people who would be joining in for the group five qualifiers. They are Astaman, Archa, Lucky Singh, Momina Vassal, Neha, and Rajatri. I've posted the link in the group five WhatsApp group, and I would like to request all the participants to join as quickly as possible. I'm currently waiting for the players to join the lobby. Okay, Astha has joined. Hurry up guys, we'll have to start the fifth round now. We only have Astha in the lobby. Okay, Mumina has also joined. Okay, we only have two people in the lobby right now. Neha has joined. We have three people in the lobby. I think others are not in the meeting. Maybe you should ask again if anyone is trying to join, then start with the question. Okay, okay. I'll ask, should I ask on the WhatsApp group or here only? No, here. They must be on the meeting. Okay, so Lucky, Rajat, and who else should be joining? Lucky and Rajat, if you want to join, is please do it Archa? quickly. Is it Archa? Is she here in the lobby? Yes, yes, it's Archa. Okay, Archa, are you in the meeting? I don't think they're in the meet, so should I just start the quiz? Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. So we'll now be starting. So group five, your first question is, in which year was the Tiger project launched? Option A, 1973-74, option B, 2008-9, option C, 1988-89, and option D, 2004-5. You only have one answer and eight seconds to go, seven. Hurry up, you're okay, so only one person has answered it correctly. The correct answer was option A, 1973-74. 
So Momina was the one who answered it correctly, and she now stands on the top with 876 points. I would also like to wish Astha and Neha the best for the next question so that they can also do good. So this is your second question. Which of the following is or are an organochlorine pesticide pesticides? Option A, DDT, option B, endosulfan, option C, aldrin, and option D, all of the above. We have two answers already. Quickly, we have five more seconds to go. Three, two, okay. We have two correct answer. The correct answer was option B, option D, all of the above. Let us now see the leaderboards. Okay, so there's no change in the rankings, but Neha and Asta have opened their accounts and stand on the second and third position with 810 and 564 points respectively. We'll move on to the next question now, guys. In the case of which of the following biochemical cycles, the weathering of rocks is the main source of nutrient. Option A, carbon cycle. Option B, phosphorus cycle. Option C, sulfur cycle. And option D, nitrogen cycle. This is a very easy question, I believe. Okay, two people have answered it correctly. The correct answer was option B, phosphorus cycle. Let us now see the leaderboard. Mumina is still on top with 1,679 points, followed by Astha, who's moved up a position and is on second position with 1,450 points. We'll move on to the second last question of this round, which has also been a competitive one, despite the number of participants. So here's the question. Which of the following may cause the downhill movement of the upper soil layer? Option A, grazing. Option B, rain. Option C, drought. And option D, none of the above. We have no answers yet. And nine seconds to go. Okay, we have one answer. I hope it's a correct one. We have two answers and three seconds to go. So none of them answered it correctly. The correct answer was option B, rain. Since no one answered it correctly, there's no change in the leaderboard. And we'll move on to the last question for this round and see who comes out on top. So this is the fifth question. Which of the following is or are a major source of methane emission? Option A, wetlands. Option B, raising of livestock. Option C, treatment of wastewater. And option D, all of the above. We have two answers already. We have seven seconds to go. Okay, all three of them have answered it correctly. The correct answer was option D, all of the above. Let us now see the podium. On the third place, we have Neha with 1,567 points. On the second position, we have Astha with 2,208 points. And on the first position, we have... Moina with 2,369 points. I would like to congratulate you all. And first, now I would like you to take over. Okay, congratulations to all the winners and congratulations Asta and Momina. You people are moving on to the finals and now we have, now no, semi-finals. And now we'll have our last round for qualifiers. And before we start the la last round, um, if there are people in this meeting who have registered for the event and have ha had not been added to any of the WhatsApp groups, or if there are people in this meeting who were in previous groups but were not able to join for the qualifiers, you people can join in the last uh, last qualifiers. But if you have already tried the other qualifiers, you uh, you cannot join. And that would be it. If there are people like that, you can DM me. And Sartak, uh, uh, the people who are going for the group six qualifiers are Bhavna, Garvit, Priyanchi, Shivampuri, Idris, and Priyanka. Over to you, Sartak. I've posted the links in the WhatsApp group. Uh, I would like all the participants to join quickly. Okay, someone has joined with a dot. I would like to request you to join with your original name and not a nickname. If you don't put your original name, you will be removed. Okay, Shivam Puri has joined. Uh, the person who joined with a full stop, I would request you to change the name or else you'll be removed. I'll call again the names of people who are supposed to join for group six. Bhavna, Garvit, Priyanchi, Shivam, and Idris. We have only Shivam Puri. Was Shivam in the sixth group? Yeah, his name is there. Okay. 
Yes, we have Shivam, Idris, Bhavna. Uh, I would remove this person who joined with a full stop since he has not changed his name till now. Garvit has joined. And first, should I remove the person who joined with the full stop? Remove them right right before the qualifiers start if they don't change it already. Okay, okay. How many have joined as of now? We have three people, but one of them is not with their original name. Start in like 30 seconds, okay. Before that, remove that full stop. Okay. Has Idris joined? No, Idris has not joined. Wait a minute, I'll try contact you. Okay, Bhavna has also not joined. If any of the group 6 participants is in the meet, I would request you to join immediately. Priyanka, I believe you are in the group 6, so please join. First, I believe Priyanka has not been added to the group 6, the WhatsApp group. If you don't have the link, uh, you can DM me, we'll send you the link. Is she in the meeting? Uh, yes, she is in the meeting. Priyanka yes, is in the meeting. Priyanka, you can DM me from the main group, I'll send you the link. So Bhavna has joined, we have four people now, but effectively we have three because only Priyanka, can you speak up? Are you willing to join? We are waiting for you. If you are not, we'll start the qualifiers. Start the Q&A now, start now, Shifa. Okay, I'll also remove this person. Yes. So, wait a second. I'll start the final qualifier round now. So group six, we'll have your first question in just a second. And here we go. The Similipal National Park and Tiger Reserve is located in which Indian state? Option A, West Bengal, Option B, Jharkhand, Option C, Odisha, and Option D, Sikkim. This is an easy question, I believe, but we only have one answer till now. We have less than 10 seconds remaining. Okay, we have two answers now. Quickly hurry up, there's no negative point, so you can answer. None of them answered it correctly. The correct answer was option C, Odisha. Uh, Sartak, wait a minute, two people are joining, Idris and Priyanka, I think she would DM me now. Uh, they'll start from the next round. We won't uh, let them uh, do the, this question. Uh, also, all of them have answered it wrong. No, so it but won't even matter. Okay. It wouldn't matter. I will send them the link. I will ask you please to join. Priyanka, if you DM me now, you can join. I will do one thing. I will post the link here only for Priyanka. No one else should join. I, if someone tries to join, you will be removed from the meeting, also from the Kahoot. Sathak, you may wait for like one minute exactly. If they don't join, continue. Okay, so it is 5-5 five, five right now. I'll wait till Priyanka now and Idris has also joined. We have five people. Uh, I think I should proceed now.
Should I continue on first? Yes, all of them have joined. Continue. Okay. We'll move on to the second question now. Here it is. The ozone responsible for the absorption of UV light is present in which layer of the atmosphere? Option A, stratosphere. Option B, mesosphere. Option C, troposphere. And option D, exosphere. This is a very easy question. We have four answers already. And eight seconds to go. Quickly hurry up. This was a very easy question. We did not get the final answer. So three people have answered it correctly. The correct answer was option A, stratosphere. We'll now move on to the leaderboards and see what it says. Shivampuri is on the top with 962 points, followed by Priyanka on 846 and Garvit on 815. Bhavna and Idris could not open their accounts, but I wish them the best for the next questions. We'll now move on to the third question. Here it is. The run of Kutch is one of the last places where you can find these rare equids. Which animal is this? This is a picture question. Option A, Kyang. Option B, the Indian wild ass. Option C, the Halari donkey. And option D, Quagga. So none of them answered it correctly. The correct answer was option B, Indian wild ass. We'll move on to the fourth question as there's no change in the leaderboard. Identify the snake which was accidentally introduced to the Florida Everglades and has now become extremely invasive. Option A, Dumeril's boa. Option B, Burmese python. Option C, North African python. And option D, green anaconda. So one person answered it correctly and the correct answer was option B, Burmese python, uh, with, whose population is close to 300,000 in the Everglades right now. So Priyanka is now on top with 1,668 points. Uh, I'll move on to the last question for this round and we'll see what happens after that. So here it is. Scientists recently discovered an about to hatch perfectly preserved dinosaur embryo. Where was this embryo found? Option A, Japan. Option B, Indonesia. Option C, Mongolia. And option D, China. So no one answered it correctly. This was quite an easy question, guys. The correct answer was option D, China. Let us now move on to see the final rankings. On the third place, we have Garvit with 815 points. On the second place, we have Shivampuri with 962 points. And on the first place, we have Priyanka with 1668 points. I would like to congratulate all the winners and I would like them first to take over from now. Congratulations, Priyanka and Garvit. You people are moving on to the semi-finals. And Priyanka almost had not joined the qualifiers. Lucky for her, she has qualified for the semi-finals. And before we start the semi-finals, I would like to call upon the names of people who would be uh, uh, attending the semi-finals. For the semi-final round one, uh, we have Himanshu, Anshiga, Jinya, Nitya, Varnit, and Gungun Mishra. And for the semi-final round two, we have Nishta, Aman, Asta, Momina, and Priyanka and Garbi. Uh, who was the uh, second person for, for the qualifiers of this round, last qualifiers? Was it Garvith? Garvith, yeah. Uh, yeah, Garvith, you are also uh, moving on to the semi-finals. And before I we start... What, Sivam? I got the second position in this round. Okay. Where are you on second place? Uh, I will do one thing, Sartak. You will have the summary on Kahoot. Just uh, confirm who was on second, Garvit or Shiva. Okay, let me check. Garvit on the third place. Achha. They had Shivam and Priyanka. Ah, yeah, and Priyanka. Yeah, yeah, he'll just check again and confirm. Also, uh, meanwhile, we the semi-finals are going to be a lot more fun because firstly, we have a lot more participants and we, the number of questions are also really uh, large. And it is also going to be a little bit more tougher, so it would be competitive. And a few more pointers about the semi-finals. I'll brief the rules again. Semi-finals would have 10 questions. The time limit would be the same. And three people, all three all three winners of the semi-finals would have the chance to move to the finals. As in, there are six people in one group. There would there will be a 50-50 chance for you to move on to the finals. And Sartak, have you confirmed? Shivam, uh, 
Yes, uh, Yuvam, we are so sorry. You are moving on to the semi-finals. Uh, you will be shortly added to your group. And I call upon my friends and Ayali to conduct the semi-finals for both the groups. So now over to you. Thank you, Anfar. The world is full of diamonds and stars, and we are having some of them with us today. Congratulations and warm greetings to everyone to the first round of semi-final. You are just a few steps away from those exciting cash prizes. So hold your heart. The Kahoot link is being shared in your respective WhatsApp group. We are hoping to see you in the lobby. Thank you. We have four people in the lobby. We are waiting for two more. I think everyone except Nitya have joined the lobby. Nitya, are you in this meeting? Are you trying to join? Yes, yes, just a minute. Mm -hmm. Having some network issue, just give me two minutes. Sure, no, sure. We'll wait for two more minutes, and if Nitya doesn't join by then, we'll continue. Everybody has joined the lobby. Your finals will start. Semi finals will start now. And your questions are coming. The first question is environment includes abiotic component, biotic component, oxygen and nitrogen, abiotic and biotic components. We have got four answers, five answers, and all of them have answered correctly. Let's see the scoreboard. We see Himanshu on top with 893 points, followed by Varnit, Jenya, Gungun, and Nitya. Let's move on to the next question. The question number two is, East Kolkata wetlands have been declared as biodiversity site, tourist site, world heritage site, Ramsar site. Four answers for now. Five answers. And we have got two correct answers. Let's see the scoreboard. Okay, I see Varnit on top with 1805 points, followed by Himanshu with 776 points. The rest of the scores remain same. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is, the ozone hole over Antarctica was discovered in 1975, 1985, 1987 or 1978? Okay, we have got two correct answers. Let's see the scoreboard. Okay, Himanshu is back with 2,703 points, followed by Varnit with 1,805 points, followed by Nitya, Jinya, and Gungun Mishra. Jinya and Gungun Mishra, we we'll love to see you on the top. Keep it up, guys. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is soil eroded heavily due to deforestation. Which of the following is badly affected? Human resource, ecological system, climate, local plants. And we have got six answers yet. Okay, we have got four correct answers. Let's see the scoreboard. 
and also congratulations to Himanshu. You scored all the 10 questions correctly. It was very impressive of you. And all three of you are moving on to the finals. And you will be added to the WhatsApp group soon. And I call upon Sana to uh, anchor for the semi finals group. Too. With warm greetings, I welcome you all in the second round of semi finals. You can get into the finals by what you do in the next few minutes. The Kahoot link for the second round of semi finals is being shared in your respective WhatsApp group. We shall begin as soon as you people join. Thank you. We have Asta, Jinya, and Nishta in the lobby as of now. Also, Aman Madan. Priyanka, you have not joined yet. I think Priyanka does not have a WhatsApp number. I'll post the link here for uh, Priyanka's convenience. No one else will join except. And first, send me send me the link. I'll send it to Priyanka. Okay, I'll send the link. Sadhik, I have posted the link on the volunteers group. You please forward to Priyanka. Also, is Jinya here in the meeting? I would like you to speak up, please. Jinya? Huh? Uh, did you attend last semi finals? Were you able to do at least one question? Yes, I have answered two or three questions, I think. And sorry, Jinya, we wouldn't be able to accommodate you for this semi-finals. If you have were totally disconnected, we would have understood your case. We are so sorry. Uh, shall we remove you from the lobby? Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, we have all six uh, semi-finals in the lobby and we'll start our meeting now. Yeah, not the meeting, the competition. So let's start in three, two, one. The first question is, which of the following is a renewable source of energy? Atomic power, hydroelectric power, thermal power, or natural gas? We have got two answers, three, four. Okay, we have got four correct answers. Let's see the scoreboard. Okay, Asta is leading with 754 points, followed by Aman, Priyanka, Nishtha. Shivampuri hasn't opened his account yet, but we are hoping to see you on the top. Let's move on to the next question. The question is, the radiant energy received by Earth from the sun is 
radiation, insulation, reflection, or refraction? We have got three answers. Four. Five. Okay, we have got three correct answers and three incorrect answers. Let's see the scoreboard. Okay, Priyanka is leading with 1,447 points, followed by Nishtha, Asa, Aman, Madan, and Momina. Let's move on to the next question. The question is, that is a national award instituted by the Government of India for Wildlife Conservation. Option A, Amrita Devi Vishnu Wildlife Protection Award, Sipko Movement Award, Swachh Sevak Award, National Wildlife and Conservation Award. Okay, we have got five correct answers. Let's see the scoreboard. Okay, Priyanka is leading with 2,248 points, followed by Nishtha, Aman, Alsa, and Momina. Let's move on to the next question. Which of the following aquatic plant is affecting preventing the water pollution caused by industrial waste? Water hyacinth, elephant grass, parthenium, both parthenium and elephant grass. We have got one, three answers. Five. Okay, so we have got only one correct answer. Let's see the scoreboard. Disconnect, okay, but let's again. Aman is leading with 2,308 points, followed by Priyanka, Nishtha, Asta, and Momina. We'll move on to the, uh, we'll wait for 30 seconds for Priyanka to... Uh, Make a second discussion. Uh -huh. We'll wait for 30 more seconds and then we'll move on to the next question. Go link to the two in New York. Can you I'll send the link again. Wait a minute. Sardak, can you take care of the link? I believe you had sent her the link previously. Uh, what do I have to do? You will have to send the link again to Priyanka. Okay, okay, I'll do so. I've sent the link to Priyanka. Priyanka, we'll wait for uh, like 15 more seconds and after that we'll have to continue sharing. Okay, but I'll be linking you. I'm here. Your number ends with 9960, nine, right? Uh, no, it's probably the other Priyanka. You send your number to me. You send this link to two groups. मैं मैंने दिया था लास्ट टाइम प्रियंका को आई विल फॉरवर्ड कर दूंगा उसको यू नो व्हाट आई आई विल पेस्ट द लिंक हियर इन द मीटिंग प्रियंका जॉइन नाउ और वी विल हैव टू कंटिन्यू नोबडी एल्स प्लीज जॉइन ओके ओके यहीं पे सेंड कर दो क्लास में Priyanka, we have tried everything to get the link to you. We are so sorry. We might have to continue. Uh, please continue. Please try joining again. You will still have a chance. Sana, I'll continue. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. The question is, which of the following is the first national park of India? Periyar, Rajaji, Jim Corbett or Bandipur? We have got two answers. Three answers for now. Okay, we have got two correct answers. Let's see the scoreboard. Okay, Nishtha has come up, but Aman is still leading with 3,187 points, followed by Nishtha, Priyanka, Asa, and Momina. Let's move on to the next question. Which of the following is the smallest artificial ecosystem that has been sustained for a long time? Falsum pond, falsum bottle, falsum stream, none of these. Okay, we have got three answers for now. Okay, we have only one correct answer. Let's see the scoreboard. 
Okay, no changes in the school board. Let's move on to the next question. The Sinipal Biosphere Reserve is located in which Indian state? Odisha, Rajasthan, Uttarakhand, Goa. We have got four correct answers. Let's see the score board. Okay, Aman is leading with 3,988 points followed by Nishtha, Astha, Priyanka, Momina. Priyanka, Momina, Astha, don't get disheartened. Whatever you do in the next question will determine whether you go to the finals or not. Let's move on to the next question. Dash can cause snow blindness, cataract and cornea inflammation, high dose of UVB radiation, excess and prolonged air pollution, drinking polluted water for a long time, all of these. We have got four answers. Okay, we have got three correct answers. Let's see the scoreboard. Okay, Aman is on fire with 4,643 points, followed by Nishtha, Momina, Asa and Priyanka. Let's move on to the ninth question. The question is, Asiatic lion is a state animal, animal of which of the following states? Rajasthan, Haryana, Gujarat or Punjab? Okay, we have got four correct answers. Let's see the scoreboard. Okay, Aman is still leading with 5,525 points followed by Nishtha, Momina, Asta and Priyanka. Let's move on to the final question of round two of semifinals. Let's move on to the next question. Acid rain is a result of excess amount of CO2, excess amount of NH3, excess amount of SO2 and NO2, excess carbon monoxide. We have got five correct answers. Let's see the scoreboard. On third position, we have Momina with 4,254 points. On second position, we have Nishka Jen with 5,164 points. And on first position, we have Aman with 6,384 points. Congratulations. And now I would like to hand over the mic to Anfaz. Uh, uh, timer on please mute your mic and also congratulations to all the winners of this round uh, Momina, Nista and Aman Madan and you people are also moving on to the final so I'll quickly re read on the names of the finalists the names of the finalists are Imanchu, Varnith, Kungun, uh, Aman, Nista and Momina you people will, uh, are moving on to the finals you will, uh, we'll make a WhatsApp group soon and We'll let you know about the first, we'll uh, give you further instructions and the finals will start in two minutes. Before that, we'll briefly run you over the rules of the finals. The finals are going to be extremely different from Kahoot. And it, we, you, we will also have a lot of tougher questions based on assertions and paragraphs. And uh, we'll uh, come get back to you in a moment. Thank you. Before we start the finals, uh, I'll run you through the instructions and I would like to ask if all the finalists are here. I just announced your name. I have, if you want, I'll announce it again. We want to confirm if you people are here. Himanshu, Varnith, Gungun, Aman, Nista, Momina. Are you people here? Speak up, please. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Himanshu, yes. yes. Okay. Um, before we start the finals, uh, I will run you through uh, some quick rules. Uh, all right, people. First of all, a big congrats for making it to the finals after all those rigorous rounds. And now you have a 50-50 chance of taking the cash prize home. Uh, so buckle up and give your best for, for the next 10 questions.
we have already told you about the rules of the finals, but I'll brief about it once again. For the finals, we have a different set of rules. No more division into groups. Every participant in the final would be ex exposed to the same set of questions. The first person to answer the question gets, gets the point and uh, all others get zero points. But if the first person answers it incorrectly, they would be awarded negative points. And the next person on the, li next person on the list gets to answer the question. How do we decide the order in which you get to answer? Um, right after I share my slide, slide for the first question, uh, the participants would be allowed to type a full stop in the chat box. And the person who does it first gets to answer the question. And if they answer it wrong, they would, get, they would get negative marks. And the next person on the list uh, gets the chance. Also, do not do anything stupid like Googling the answers because we have kept volunteers to monitor your cameras. Now, a few more pointers before we move on, before we move on to the finals. Uh, we would have 10 questions, as I said. The first three questions would carry one mark each. Questions four, five, and six could, would carry two points each. And questions seven, eight, and nine would carry three points each. Uh, and the last question, 10th question, would carry four marks. As you might have guessed, the questions are arranged in their increasing order of difficulty. Every wrongly answered question would carry 50% negative marking. Mark the words, 50% negative marking. That is, if you wrongly answer a question which carries one point, you will you would be awarded negative 0 0.5 points. If you wrongly answer a question which has three points, you would be awarded negative 1.5 points. And you will have for, uh, 30 seconds to answer the first uh, six questions, and you will have 45 seconds to answer the last four questions. If you run out of time, it will get passed on to the next person on the list. Um, if you need any more clarification, please ask it now. The final round would start as soon as I show the next slide. And also, remember to type the full stop in the chat box. Some of your networks might be glitchy, and in your system, your name might appear first. So we would only consider the order which appears on the screen of the host. That would be me. And I would also give a countdown before every question. And before we jump into the first question, just to make sure everybody understood the rules, all six participants, please drop a full stop in the chat box. Uh, hello, Anfas. Uh -huh. uh, how would we be able to type the full stop when the cameras are on? Because I am on the device phone. I'm on my phone. Why would it be a problem to uh, type a full stop when your cameras are on? My camera is on and I type a full stop here on the chat box. So, uh, okay, it will take ta take time, I guess. Yeah, it will be the same for everyone. Chat box. Yeah. Are you fine? Okay, okay. Um, Anfas, mm -hmm. there is a doubt in the chat box. Yes. Yes. What is the order of answering? Uh, Himanshu, I just said, uh, as of now, we have asked everyone to drop a full stop. And in my computer screen, the list goes, Varnit has dropped the full stop first, followed by Aman, followed by Gungun, -Gun, followed by Mumina. So uh, Varnit would get to answer the question first. If Varnit answers it correctly, he would be awarded the positive points. And if he answered it wrong, he will be awarded negative points. And the next person on the list, that is Aman Madan, would get the chance. If he answers it correctly, he'll, we will be awarded the points and we'll move on to the next question. If Aman Madan also answered it wrong, we will give the chance to Gungun Mishra. I hope it's clear to everybody now. Do you have any more doubts? Okay, it is clear for Himanshu. So I guess we would be starting our finals. The finals, as I said, would start as soon as I say the, share the next slide. It contains the question and I will give a countdown of three. Meanwhile, I would just like to confirm if Parul is here. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, Parul, Sana, who would be doing the uh, work for division? I mean, after the full stop. I'll do that. Yeah, since Parul is here, she would do that. So moving on to the... Okay, people, the first question would be displayed on my... Uh, one, one second, one second. Before that, I'll just put up the Kahoot Wala background music just to make it a little more interesting. One second. Aren't they going to turn on the oh. camera? Ah, also, everybody, please turn on your cameras and uh, the volunteers monitor them. Is Kushi here in the meeting? 
Sana, would you also do, do the job of monitoring their cameras? Are the cameras on of every participant? Yes, I will do it. Are the cameras on for every participant? Let me just check. The meeting she has written in the chat box. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's on. Sana, are we good to go? Just a second. Okay. Do any of the volunteer is using laptop except Anfar? I think Sartak is. He is also keeping in charge of laptop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be able to... uh, say it again. Uh, do you see uh, uh, cameras on of every participant? Okay, let me so, check my chat box. Actually, Nitya ka camera on nahi hai, Bibi, and Mumina ka bhi on nahi hai. In logo ne on kiya bhi. We have Gungun, we have Nishtha, we have Aman, we have Varnit, and we have Himanshu. I believe uh, one participant is left. Nitya is left. Yeah, Nitya. Nitya, please turn on your camera. If you don't, we will have to continue with our tour. The rules are applicable for everyone. Nitya, please speak up. Do you have, are you planning on attending this round? If yes, please turn your cameras on. Uh, Nitya, you are... I don't get the link. Uh, there is no link. We have uh, like explained the rules. The finals would be uh, on the on the Google Meet. You will have to turn your cameras on and we'll ask questions face to face. The next question will be displayed on your screen. You'll have to turn your camera on for that. Okay, we can see you. Sata so Karbi good to go. Yes, everyone is visible now. Okay. Okay, people. Please, please, uh, yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt. Nitya, are you clear with the uh, rules? You have to put a full stop in the chat box when the question is visible on the screen. If you do it first, then you will get the chance to answer it. Okay? Is that okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. The first question would be displayed on your screen in three, two, and one. Question number one, which of the following is a useful biological indicator of sulfur dioxide pollution? Option A, bryophytes, option B, pseudomonas, option C, lichens, and option D, both A and B. Okay, on my screen, the orders are Himanshu, followed by Gungun Mishra, followed by Nishta, followed by Nitya, followed by Mo and Momina, and Aman and Varnit. Um, Himanshu, you get to answer the question. Do you have an answer? Yes, answer number is uh, answer is slight chance. Option number C. Um, Himanshu, your answer is absolutely correct. Sulfur dioxide, uh, it damage lichens and prevent them from growing. Hence, lichens act as a, a indicator for sulfur dioxide pollution. And Himanshu, you have been awarded one question and others, uh, you, you still have a chance. And moving on to the next question, the next question would be displayed on your, displayed on your screen in three, two, and one. Question number two, which country among the following has the highest biodiversity? Option A, India, B, South Africa, Australia or Brazil? Okay, for question number two, again, Himanshu has uh, the list uh, is as follows. Himanshu followed by Nitya, followed by Momina and Nishta and others. Himanshu, you get to answer this question, so, question also. What is your answer? The answer is Brazil, option number C. Oh, so, so, sorry, option number D. Okay, you you told Brazil first, so it doesn't matter. Uh, your answer is absolutely correct. Amazon rainforest is the most diverse terrestrial place on earth, and it is located in Brazil. And you are awarded two points. And we will move on to the next question with one mark. And the question would be displayed on my screen in three, two, and one. Question number three: Which of the following is an invasion alien species in India? Option A: Landana, B: Parthenium, C: Iconia, D: All of the above. 
Okay, this time again, Himanshu has chose to answer the question first, followed by Varnit, followed by Aman Madan, followed by Nitya and others. Himanshu, what is your answer? Answering all of the above, option number D. Yes, Himanshu, you have brilliantly answered the first three questions correctly. Himanshu, Himanshu is now on, currently on the first question with three points and others all have zero points, but do not get disheartened. The next three questions are of two marks each and you can easily overtake the person in the person who is holding the first question and the next question of two marks would be displayed on my screen in three, two and one. Question number four, which of the following uh, is the correct order of contributions of the following gases to global warming? Op uh, option A, B, C or D. Let me have a look at the list. Who is going to answer it first? Okay, this time we have a change in the list. The list says Aman Madan followed by Momina Fazal followed by Varnit followed by Gungun Mishra and others. Aman Madan, uh, the chance is yours. Do you have an answer? That is option A. Yes, Aman Madan, your answer is absolutely correct. The correct answer is option A. That was, uh, this question was directly picked up from the NCRT of class 12. If you recall correctly, you will find a pie chart depicting the contributions of the greenhouse gases to global warming. And your, correct, your answer is absolutely correct. Moving on to the next question with uh, two marks, that would be our fifth question. The question is, what is the name of this endangered creature? Option A, Paramelona. Option B, Pangolins. Option C, Peccary. Option B, Potoro. Okay, this time we have a different list. The first person on the list is Varnith, followed by Himanshu, followed by Gungun, Mumina, and others. Varnith, it is your chance to answer. What is your answer? The answer is option B. Yes, Varnit, your answer is absolutely correct. It is option B, Pangolins, or it is also called as an armadillo. You are awarded with two marks. And we will now move on to the last question with two marks. And the question is, the region of biosphere reserve, which is legally protected and where no human activity is allowed, is known as option A, core zone, B, transition zone, C, buffer zone, D, and D, concussion zone. Okay, looking at the list, uh, we have Momina has chose to answer the question for the first time, uh, followed by Himanshu, followed by Aman Madan. Momina, do you have an answer? Option A. Yes, Momina, your answer is absolutely correct. As the name suggests, core zone is the innermost zone and is also legally protected. And that would put us at the end of all questions with two marks. And next next three questions would carry three marks each. And the difficulty would increase, increase significantly as we would be having assertion-based and paragraph-based questions. And we would be moving on to the seventh question in three, two, and one. It is an assertion-based question. The assertion is, presence of tube effects in a water sample is a good example of high quality of water. The reasoning one, Tubifax is a nematode that cannot survive in water with low oxygen content. Reasoning 2, Tubifax can survive with little oxygen by waving hemoglobin rich tails and tail ends to exploit all available oxygen. Option A, B, C, or D. Okay, looking at the list, we have Himanshu followed by Varnith, followed by Momina and others. Himanshu, what is your answer? Answer option number C. Okay, Iman, Imanchu has chose to answer it as option number C. Excuse me, I'll I'll be right back. There is a confusion regarding the options. Manshu, uh, did you answer it? What was your option again? Could you please type it down in the chat box? Option number C. Uh, okay, Himanshu has chose it, chose the option as option number C, that the assertion is incorrect and reason two is the correct explanation. Is that it, Himanshu? Yes. 
Okay, Imanshu, uh, your answer is absolutely correct. Although it might seem like a complicated question, all we had to do is to use a little common sense. The assertion says, presence of tube effects is an indicator of non-polluted water. But if we read the reasoning, we would get we would understand that tube effects is a sewage worm, and sewage worms usually are present in sewage and polluted water. Hence, the assertion is incorrect. And Imanshu, you are awarded with three points. And we will now have to move, move on to the next question with three marks. And the question would be displayed on my screen in 3, 2, and 1. Question number 8. Nine species of vulture can be found in India, but most of them now face a threat of extinction. There has been a steep population decline since the late 90s and early 2000s. And although many captive breeding and reintroduction programs are in place, it will take decades to restore a meaningful population. What was discovered to be the main cause of population decline? Option A, habitat loss. Option B, overhunting and taxidermy. Option C, diclofenac poisoning. And option D, both A and B. Let us now have a look at the list to see who is going to get the chance to answer it first. First person on the list is Aman Madan. I think he is answering it for his first name, followed by Himanshu, followed by Momina and Nitya. Aman, do you have an answer? My answer is Aman B. Aman, your voice wasn't clear. If you could also type it down, down the chat box, just for confirmation. Okay, Aman has answered it as option number D. Unfortunately for you, Aman, that is not the correct answer. And we will have to move on to the immediate next person on the list. And the next person is Himanshu. Himanshu, do you have an answer? Answer is option number C. Uh, okay, Imanshu has chosen to answer option number C, and your answer is absolutely correct. It seems like Imanshu is on fire. Uh, Diclofenac is a medicine that is usually prescribed for animals and humans. And when vultures consume the dead meat of these animals, it accumulates and pre uh, causes kidney failure in vultures and causing them to die. So, Imanshu, your answer is correct. We will move on to the last question with three marks. And moving on to the last question with three marks, the question would be displayed on my uh, screen in three. Parul, have you uh, typed on the chat box? Okay, the question would be displayed on my screen in three, two, and one. Assertion, ozone hole over Antarctica develops each year late, between late August and early October. Reasoning one, um, ozone depletion occurs between the polar vertex, vortex, and reasoning two, the content of CFCs during the late August and early October is very high. Option A, B, C, and D. Let us have a look at the list to see who is going to answer it first. And the list says Aman Madan, followed by Himanshu, followed by Varnit, followed by Mogana and others. Aman, we hope you don't negative My answer. answer is option B. Okay, um, Aman, uh, I believe you said B, right? B for ball. Type it down the chat box. Uh, yes, Amin has typed. Amin has typed down the chat box. Unfortunately for you, Amin, uh, we are so sorry. That again is the incorrect answer. So we'll have to move on to the next immediate person on the list. We have the same case as, case as before. Amin answers it incorrectly, and Himanshu would get the chance to answer. Himanshu, what is your answer? Yes, the right answer is option number A. Okay, oh, Imanju says the uh, assertion is correct and the R1 is the correct explanation of the assertion. Imanju, you have answered it correctly. Again, uh, you people must have studied it in the 12th standard that the atmospheric conditions in Antarctica increases the effectiveness of uh, ozone destruction by uh, the reactive halogen gases. Thus, the whole forms over the polar vortex. And that was the end of the questions with uh, three marks. The next question would carry four marks and would decide who carries the uh, cash price home. And the question would be displayed on my screen in three, two, and one. Question number 10. In a lake subjected to progressive eutrophication, temporal changes in magnitude of selected, selected parameters A, B, C, and D are shown in the graph. Option A, B, C, or D. Let us have a look at the chat box to see who's going to answer it first. Okay, this time <coughs> Himanshu has chose to answer it first. If Himanshu, if you answer it wrongly, uh, you will get negative 50% of negative marks. For, uh, after Himanshu on the list is Aman followed by Momna. You have to give the chance to Himanshu. Himanshu, what is your answer? I think the correct answer is option number B. 
okay option number himanshu uh, since this is the final question can you also type it down in the chat box okay okay himanshu uh, your answer is correct again happy for you uh, biological oxygen demand has a steep increase followed by the cyanobacterial biomass which are uh, which increases in a sigmoid fashion followed by the dissolved oxygen co co concentration and then uh, d would be the graph for green algal biomass well 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 uh, that would be the end of this final round we will be uh, here back shortly with the results meanwhile you people are requested to stay back in the meeting we will be uh, with the results uh, exactly in 3 minutes thank you Uh, welcome back people seems like there is a tie between uh, two people for the uh, second and third position uh, the tie is between varnit and momina both of them have scored two points each and we will be having a tie breaker the rules of the tie breaker are simple uh, i hope you all uh, remember how we had the kahoot for the qualifiers we will be having a kahoot here but this kahoot unlike the qualifiers would only have like three questions and the person to come first uh, would win the second position and the person to lose would get the third position no matter what so we will be having the kahoot here are varnit and uh, momina here speak up please yes yeah okay varnit and momina i request you both to dm me on 
uh, my WhatsApp number. I will send you the link there, and we'll uh, display your tiebreaker to everyone on this Google Meet. We are waiting for Varnith and Momina right now. Okay, Varnith has showed up. So has Momina. So we'll be starting the questions. Um, the first question is. India and Greece have signed air services ag uh, agreement and MOU on the cooperation in which field? Option A, uh, oil and gas, B, solar power, new and renewable energy, old and non-renewable energy. Okay, uh, someone has answered and someone is left to answer. Okay, both of them have answered. Unfortunately, none of them have answered it correctly. So we'll have to move on to the next question. It is again a tie. They have seem they are seem to be determined for a tie. Moving on to the next question quickly. Uh, the leaderboard, yeah, no one answered it correctly. Moving on to the next question. The next question. Eight minute, mera lag ho gaya ki. Whoever said that, you have 15 seconds to answer your question. What is the process by which coral reefs overheat during heat waves and what uh, where they lose their color? Okay, so, uh, someone has answered it correctly. Fortunately for us, let us see who. Okay, Momina, though, though she had a network issue, she managed to answer it correctly. Momina, then the next question is the last question. If uh, Momina answers that correctly, we'll have to give her the second place. But if Varnith answers it uh, faster and Momina answers it so slow, Varnith would be given the second place. Let us see how it goes. The next and the last question for breaking the tie would appear on your screen now. The question is, Green War Room and Green App are the initiatives of which Indian state or union territory? Option A, Bihar, New Delhi, Kerala, or Assam. Be careful, people. You don't want to mess up. Okay. Okay. Uh, none of you have answered it correctly. Uh, we guess Momina will take the second place. Third person, we don't have anyone. On the second place, we have Varnith. And winner of the tiebreaker would be Momina. And along with this, I would also be announcing the winners of, uh, announcing the proper winners once again in a moment. Okay, um, welcome back everybody. Um, this is the part where we announce the results. Before that, I would like to tell you that uh, everybody did a really good job. The event was a lot more fun than we anticipated and now I will proceed to announcing the winners. Um, the winners are on the third position, we have Varnith with two points. On the second position, we have Momina. She had two points, but she won the tiebreaker. And the winner of the, today's quiz is Himanshu with 16 points. Congratulations, Himanshu. Congratulations, all the winners. And 
I would like to tell you that uh, Varnath is taking home 500 rupees, Momina gets to 750 rupees, and Himanshu wins a sum of uh, 1000 rupees. Congratulations, all the winners and uh, all the winners and to all the qualifiers and semi finalists. And also, so thank you so much for our panel of judges and the wonderful participants and spectators. We genuinely hope uh, all of you had a lot of fun for the event. And before we end the meeting, we would encourage you to say some feedback or uh, if you have any by unmuting or typing in the chat box. Did you people like this event? Yeah, I wanted to say something. Um, many, many congratulations to all the participants. It was a very tough and a very interesting quiz was there, right? So I would like to congratulate Himanshu for the first position, Momina for the second position, and Varnit for the third position. Okay, I just wanted to know Himanshu is from second year. Second yes, ma'am. From which section, Veta? Section A. Section. All the participants are. Sorry, ma'am. Momina, Momina. Okay. Ma'am, first year. First year section? A. A, okay. I have to mention this in the report, right? And Varnit is also from first year. Uh, yes, ma'am. Section A, first year. Section A, first year. So all are from the section A. Himanshu is also from section A, right? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, ma'am.